Hello YouTubers and Doctor fans, welcome to my review on part 2 of the Lost TV Episode Collection 2 box set, which is The Massacre. So, let's get started with the showcase of the front cover, of course, with William Hartnell right over here. We have the Priest, which is um, a dual role, a bit like the Enemy of the World. The Queen, as Stephen as well, has some artwork by there, it looks really nice. The Photoshop effect, side with the Massacre. So just, uh, just like that. So the back and the, the front cover is right by here. Doctor Who: The Massacre. The William Hartnell is the original Doctor Who. It's exclusive audio recording of the Lost BBC television soundtrack. The blurb right there, which I, which, yeah, you can have a time to pause that so you can read it for yourself. I'll just read the bottom blurb with um, this part right here. The four. The four episodes of the 1966 story no longer exist in the BBC television archives. The audio is exclusive has taken the soundtrack and with link narration by Peter Purvis. The whole the whole thrilling adventure is brought back to life. Two six is the two C D and um, running time is an hour and forty minutes. So we have C D one. And CD2, which is part 1 and 2, and then part 3 and 4, and some advertisements of the Doctor Who Tom Baker series, Deep Quest. Let's pick up the booklet. So there we have the booklet, the original BBC television soundtrack. And Part 1, War of God, Part 2, The Sea Beggar, Part 3, Paradise, A Priest of Death, and Part 4, A Bell of Doom. And this is um, a picture, I really like this picture, William Hartman and Peter Burgess. Of course, there's some custom services down there, and um, the casting, casting credits, I'll speak to this. The Doctor, the Abottom, which is um, a dual role. With the priest, that's the priest, um, Stephen by Peter Purvis, of course, Gaston, Eric Thompson, the servant, Nicholas, Simon, landlord, Roger, Braslin, and the captain guard. And it's written by John Lucerati and four parts, and that's broadcast on the BBC One at 26th of February 1966. Overall opinions on the massacre. An inconceivable story. Yep, that's right. I adore this story a lot. I really enjoyed listening to this one. It had. I have. This is. This story really surprised me. It is very dark. A very dark story and very emotional as well with some very lovely scenes from the story and some very horrific catastrophe scenes. I absolutely love this historical story. Now the story will um, I will this video will contain some spoilers, so just be warned I will warn you. So um I'll just read um all the parts. Um part one will be um I've so yeah, brought part one, the War of God, that's it. Um, that that was a pretty good part. It was just the introduction to um, Paris. It was in um, the early 16th century or the 17th century, I can't remember. But it was um, basically the introduction to all the characters as well. The Doctor and Stephen um, explore around. And of course, Stephen has a very good relationship with his French girl. And um, they really do talk to each other a lot in this one as well. And they, you can see they're starting to build up a relationship in that one, and part one's cliffhanger, very good. Then we go to part two, and Sea Beggar, and this is where um, more of um, the struggle happened with this um, type of battle which is going to be going on. They're explaining what's going to be something going to be going on soon, and they're trying to um, get rid of all these um, people who were against um, the Catholics. And that's what's going on, and, and then Stephen and um, the French girl again are, are bonding even more as well. They're 
more and having a really good relationship with each other which is really good and it's getting really nice and emotional and they start to build up really good with each other. And then we go to part three, a priest of death and now this is where a terrible, terrible scene happens. William Hartnell sees a terrible an, an event, a terrible event and his heart literally stops when he sees it's really dark really dark what happens I can't I just can't see what happens William Hart is just in such shock and he, he just can't believe what he sees and then part four now part four I have I, you you may go absolutely really what I'm about to say part four of the massacre is my all-time favorite part ever of Doctor Who yep I said that part four of the massacre it's my favourite part ever of Doctor Who. Now I'm going to explain why. Because it is a very emotional and very dark at the same time of what happens. And this story, this is probably the only story which only it, it affects me in this sort of way. Which is actually really sad what happens. This horrible catastrophe just happens. This horrible battle happens. Near enough in the middle of part four. And of course, um... Uh, early part four, the Doctor did not allow um, the French girl, well, Steve, who Steve was building a relationship, to go into the TARDIS because um, it did not allow it. And Stephen, Stephen was very paranoid. Of course, they had a really good relationship with each other, and the Doctor didn't allow it. But then after that, I come like ten minutes after the part, this horrible catastrophe happened, a battle, and of course, William Hartnell. Oh, why don't you say William Hartnell? Doctor says we gotta leave right now. And of course Steven's looking for the French girl of course and keeps putting Stephen back, calling the calling the um the Stephen's calling the girl of course and um William Hartnell was hot of course was I think was holding him. Yes he was, I remember now, and um the doctor didn't let go, tried to pull him back in the TARDIS and um the Stevens seen um um, the girl all the time tried to get her, but of course she couldn't hear anything with all this blood and fighting going on. And of course, the girl is killed right in front of Stephen's eyes, and he was absolute, just absolutely um, shocked in this one, and he couldn't believe it. His reaction was really sad. It was, of course. He made a relationship and then killed in front of his own eyes. And then he was just mortified of the doctor. Because why did you not let me go like that? I could have saved a life. And the doctor and the doctor said we, we cannot change history, we cannot do that, and like that. Stevens having a really big go with the doctor, and of course the doctor comes back again and saying, I've lost things myself. I can I cannot change it as well. I can't change history when I lose stuff. I see it all the time. That's what the doctor's saying. And then after that, William Hartnell does the most fantastic speech I have ever heard, ever. One of the all-time favorite speeches. And then it's a very sad ending. So that's what happened with the massacre. I won't not spoil anything else. What actually happened? Um, start this catastrophe or anything like that that's for you to find out it is a brilliant listen i would give this an absolute 100 million billion out of 10 perfection at its finest i love this story i really want to see this story recovered really do i want to see all parts recovered more part four part one because i want to see um when um steven and um, the girl meet up and starting um, to have a relationship part two where um, there's a dual role that comes into and of course he's um, with um william hart um, the doctor and the priest part three with this horrific event and part four just want to absolute see it so that was a review of massacre so part three of the last TV episodes will be the Celestial Toy, so stay tuned for that. I have a brilliant day and of course I highly recommend this story.
to give it a listen because it is shadowed by Dark's Master Plan and Celestial Toymaker. So I hope you enjoyed this review on this marvellous story and I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.